Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Squish and Revealing Tesla. Tesla was one of many, many puts, many options trades that I call the Gap Options newsletter in the last week. I've been watching this lower. I've been liking this lower. We actually day traded this on Monday. Took a stop. Took two stops. Um, but I stayed on top of it, and we did puts in it. So called a few puts in this. Uh, one of the nicest trades was the 235 puts that I called yesterday on Tuesday, the 15th, that expired this week. When I get up this morning and I saw this puppy, woo, I was really excited because I knew what it was going to do. It opened at 228.02. So this was almost 10 points through the strike on the open. And then it fell today. And it actually did fall more than 10 points through the strike and you still could be in this you still could be in this so you could have got out of this today you could still be in it you could have got out of it in the close today you could have got out of it in the open no bad exit in this because it was such a nice call good timing on this yesterday to get into the sell-off and again institutional selling is what is happening with tesla now did this gap down today with the market maybe but this actually was other news on tesla as well this was not an earnings trade the earnings on tesla we did too Feels like a long time ago, but it was only a month ago when that happened here, it was 720. So we did a couple different strikes in this. You can piggyback them, stack them. When I call multiple strikes in the same stock for the same expiration or double up on the same week, then you can take one, get out, take another one, get out, take one, hold it, take one, hold it, whatever you wanna do. Huge volume in this, double the volume in the overall market, and a beautiful, beautiful move to the downside in Tesla today. So let's take a look and see where this is at this evening. I know the market's pushing back slightly. Well, this is still really weak. Again, Cisco's up tonight on earnings, so the market's up slightly, but overall, again, tomorrow's Thursday, so long away to even look at where we'll be with this, but no way this will reverse where we did this. Um, and so that is that. When you decide to get out of something and book the profit, you can take another train. That's the only way to confirm that you booked the money. But like I said, I did call several strikes in this. So you certainly could be in one or more than one of this to get the downward move if this continues. So I'll be watching this. Next number is 222, 220. Um, as crazy as some of these numbers sound, if the market continues to sell off Thursday and Friday, look out below, people. So if you'd like to trade options with me, you can sign up for the Gap Options newsletter. It's a six month subscription service or a 12 month subscription service. It's up to you which one you wanna sign up for. There are no trials for the options newsletter. It is like gold. So I had a gentleman that signed up actually yesterday. He is already making money and very, very happy that he signed up. He's been following me for two years. So sometimes it takes people a while to decide if they wanna trade with me, if they wanna take the class, if they wanna do options or day trades, it's been a good month, uh, it's been a good year, and I think the longer that I do this, the better I get. Again, today, this rally, uh, perfect timing on the trade I called in this though today, because we had a hard rally this morning in this, truly. We watched this to short this morning, the day trade room. We didn't end up doing it. I said, no, this is off, we did the cues. But I still stayed on top of it, still stayed on top of it, still watched it, still believed in the gap. And then of course, the difference between knowing what to do and understanding what to do is the knowledge base that you have and that's where I teach in the Golden Gap course, which is a 26 points. Understanding the gap rating in trades like this and the market, which we did today, really helps you hold trades and, and believe in the trade and have conviction in the trade, even if the position goes against you. So you may not get stopped out. You may still have plenty of time left in it, but it may go against you where you're down in it. And if you're scared and don't understand what's going on, you'll kill it. You can't kill trades. Nothing goes straight down and nothing goes straight up. So it's important to understand what to do. Getting the right knowledge is really key. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissathestockswish.com. We will see where Tesla goes tomorrow. Good luck, everybody that's still in it.